Well, my name is Kyle Pakel, and I am uh, the community development and liberal arts teacher here at the Leadership Center for the second year students. And thinking about my time here has been wonderful, but what initially brought me to TLC um, was honestly the mission and vision statement. I was really excited about being a part of an organization where young women are coming together um, to think of sustainable solutions for their communities, um, to think of solutions that are to the problems that are plaguing their communities and thinking about um, ethics and leadership and community development in such a way that it's involving people to find and to discover their own gifts um, to be used for solving issues that are plaguing not only their families, but their communities in Honduras as well. Um, so that initial mission statement is what caught the eye of myself and my wife who both came down here to serve and to be a part of the Leadership Center. Um, but then also th through just talking with Joseph and hearing more about what the school is doing and how they're really pouring into the students, not just equipping them with the right tools, but uh, equipping them with the right character, with the right values, with the right morals. Um, we are, yes, we are teaching girls about economics and how to start businesses and um, how to be good leaders, but that really starts with being human beings with integrity, human beings who are optimistic, um, human beings who have a strong inner core uh, when the going gets tough, <laughs> to be cliche, but when the going gets tough that they are going to make the right decisions. And so being a part of that vision um, where a group of girls can just come together and where they're trying every day to make changes for themselves and for their families and for their communities and for Honduras as a whole is something that is really exciting. And it makes it easy to be a teacher um, when you just have these students who are passionate about being here um, and who are passionate about wanting to see change. Um, because I, I studied community development and I, I came down here because I knew that I could be a help, but at the same time, um, I just wanted to give of myself and to be able to share my knowledge so that um, through these girls that what I know and what I could transmit to them that they are the ones who are going to be creating the change. You know, there's nothing that I can ultimately teach them um, which is going to transform Honduras, but it really takes their commitment and their passion, uh, which is going to change their communities. And so just being a part of that is so exciting and um, makes it easy as a teacher to get up in the morning. Um, but then also thinking about what is keeping me here at Honduras? What is keeping me here at the Leadership Center? Um, and the first word that comes to mind is community. Um, the previous year I was working in Washington, D.C. with my wife and uh, it was great and we had community there, but there's something different when you're actually living life with the students that you get to teach. Um, you're eating meals together, uh, you're watching them develop and grow as young leaders and as young women. Um, but you get to see their good days and you get to see their bad days and they get to see that from you as well. Um, but it's, it's a place that is, that is real. Um, it's a place that is hard. Um, but it's also a place that is fun and encouraging and life-giving and full of joy. And so when I just think about staying at TLC, the first word that comes to mind is community, because that's what makes it, um, that's what's going to make change, not only here at TLC, but in, out in Honduras as well. Um, before ASB, before we came, I would say like, we were kind of close, but we weren't that close. So, um, like we would talk to each other, we would say hi when we pass each other on the college campus. So it was kind of like there was something, but it was like something that was just brewing before we came to Honduras. But then like after we came, I think I think I would speak for all of us when we say like we got super close, like we would make jokes and like we would tutor and read together. And it kind of just like made us super close. And I'm super grateful for this experience because it kind of made me like a new set of friends that I wouldn't have found on Lafayette by myself. And it's also nice because you know that all these people, they came on an ASB trip because you guys have a common goal. You guys all want to help somebody. And I think that's also something that made us closer as a group. I think it's different from, let's say, getting to know the professors on Lafayette's campus because here they kind of you're with them 24 7 so like they see you like outside the classroom and that kind of changes their perspective 
of you. You ca- they kind of get to know you better. They see like what you're passionate about. So it's like when they see you like helping the girls and stuff, it's more like doing, not like saying like, yeah, I'm passionate about this and that. Instead, they really see that you're like doing what you're passionate about. And then I think that also helps us become closer to professors because it's it's kind of a personal we're on a small campus in the middle of the woods and then I guess just interacting with the professors and stuff it, it kind of creates a bond you wouldn't get at Lafayette's campus like I don't really know how to describe it but it's just more intimate and I really appreciate that as well I don't know it's hard because I feel like every second I was here I, I always had like a favorite memory and I think one of the most memorable one was when it was with the girls, but it was when we were doing the fire, when we were when we were like camping back. We weren't camping, but we like we were sitting around the fire and like playing games and stuff. And I feel like that in a way was like I said was super intimate, and it was just like everyone around the fire. We were laughing and playing games and eating s'mores, and that kind of just like like embedded itself in my memory because it's something that you really can't forget. You're l- There's no like word or way to explain it, but it's just kind of like that moment when you like, oh my, everything is at peace. And I wanted to say it that way, so. I don't know if you can show this to your friends or maybe you can talk to your friends about ELC and maybe you can motivate them to, ca- to come here. It would be good. Uh, for me, I think in our, our country is so beautiful. We have uh, many, many uh, attractive things to show you and start with people. Uh, I, I feel very proud of the people of my country. Uh, the people is so kind, it's mostly in isolated places like TLC. And the people is so kind and don't be afraid to come here. We are uh, totally different that many news or uh, uh, reporters said we are more than dangerous, we are more than violence, we are more than all of those things. We, we have a passion, we are kind, and we are awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, give you a opportunity to meet us and meet our country. And Something that I really like is spend time with all of you when you uh, come here. Um, and I think that is something that we, we really value, uh, your time. Your time with us, with you, with us, and uh, take the decision to come here and spend mm, some time with us is something like, uh, for us, um, meaning a lot, meaning a lot. and. Maybe to come here more often, <laughs> it could be, yeah, um, and spend time with us and maybe interact, uh, talk about our culture, try to, try to know us in a better way, yeah, maybe try to know us in a better way, try to um, uh, make the girls talk about uh, their communities, how beautiful their communities are, how beautiful is our country.